Hey everyone, Face here again with you. Um, just going to uh, give a quick little rundown of my uh, my next project. If any of you watched my last video for my Astray, you already know my next project is the NSEA Protector, the NTE3120 uh, from the movie Galaxy Quest, which uh, if you haven't seen it, it's a spoof of Star Trek. If you haven't seen it, go watch it because it's a really damn funny movie. Um, the model itself isn't overly complicated. Uh, the instructions here, there are only four steps, really. Um, nothing overly difficult. Uh, assembly, it's all snapped together, so strictly speaking, you can have the thing put together in about 20 minutes. Um, but uh, I want to do this as a lighting project. I haven't done a lighting project since I finished my uh, uh, 1701A last year. So uh, I want to make sure I still know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, and while this kit isn't, strictly speaking, designed to be lit, uh, I get the impression that they designed it so that it would be very easy to light, uh, with very little modification. Um, I haven't uh, gotten too much of a start on it yet, but uh, uh, you can see here, there, here are all the clear parts. Uh, these are all the engine exhaust vents, and there's some intakes down here as well. Now, the reason I say it wasn't strictly designed to be lit is because, um, where did that hull half go? Uh, there it is. Um, you can see here, row after row after row of windows. Um, that are very very small and are not drilled out so they're uh, they're just recessed to be uh, to be painted so what I am going to do rather is uh, I'm drilling out I don't know if you can really make that out but I'm drilling out every single little tiny window there's not too many of them not nearly as many as would be on say a uh, uh, a galaxy class or a sovereign class starship from uh, from Star Trek but um, there's still there's still a fair few of them, so it'll take a little while to uh, to drill them all out. But uh, got a trusty little pin vise, and you know nothing but time. So uh, it should take me a couple a uh, couple of hours to get them all drilled out. And then uh, as for painting it, I've got a I've got an idea stuck in the back of my head. So uh, hopefully it'll it'll work and uh, won't be too much trouble because. Um, I really want to do this thing justice because it's a really nice, uh, a really nice looking model, and I, I really enjoyed the movie. So I want to, I want to have a nice, well made model of it. Um, it does. Uh, uh, anyway, onto the onto the model itself. Um, it comes with a base with the Galaxy Quest logo, which I may or may not use, since I am lighting this. As I said, I want to. Uh, I'm probably going to end up using a uh, a brass tube. Uh, to run the wires up into the ship from a, maybe a wooden block or something uh, as the actual base. Now, whether or not I use the Galaxy Quest logo on said base, like I've done with a couple of other uh, Star Trek models, um, well, that remains to be seen, because it's, it's a fairly complicated logo and would take some pretty complicated masking, so I may just forego that and do something else. Um, as for the rest of the ship, um, you can see like all the, the wing roots and uh, some other bits and pieces, odds and ends. One of the neat things about this, about the ship, uh, in the movie is the, uh, the little command deck. Um, it's kind of like a, a shuttlecraft auxiliary vessel, uh, which mounts to the top of the ship. See, here's the, uh, the side of the ship and it just sort of mounts to the top is actually detachable and kind of functions as a little uh, uh, a little shuttle and at the end of the movie they detach that and it crashes into the 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 convention center and you know it's all fun exciting happy times um, but it's got a lot of rows of windows on it as well so those are going to be interesting to uh, to drill all of those out um, and uh, and get it rigged up for lighting um, but uh, I am not going to be doing mine as removable because if I'm going to light it then it's just going to be too much hassle because it's really too small to, to do as a self-contained lit uh, little ship. Um, 
So I'll just glue it into place. Uh, other than that, lots of little detailed bits, odds and ends. Um, I've been looking online and seen there's a couple of uh, aftermarket sets already out for it. There's a shuttle bay kit, uh, which would fit right here in the very aft end of the ship, uh, as well as um, replacement grills for some of the engine parts, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to I'm just going to build it basically out of box and add my lighting system to it, um, which should be fun. And uh, I'm going to try and uh, do some good thorough walkthrough procedures of how I light a model, uh, so that uh, those of you that know better than I do uh, can tell me how much of an idiot I am for doing it the way that I do it. Uh, or hopefully, uh, better would be for other people out there to to learn. Uh, the basics of uh, lighting models. Because um, uh, my mantra with this sort of project is I'm no expert, I just screw around until I figure out enough to know what I'm doing. So I've, uh, I don't know if you can make that out in the foot in the video there, but uh, I've managed to drill out all the windows on the uh, the outer hull of the ship as well as on the little command ship. Uh, now I tell you, some of these were a big pain to uh, to uh, take care of. What I ended up doing, I don't know if it was the ideal way of doing it, but I used a, uh, a tiny little drill bit in a pin vise and uh, basically used it like a file um, to drill out the, uh, the shape of the windows. And it seems to have worked pretty well. Um, so uh, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that worked out. Um, anyway, I've got the uh, the main hull parts all primed, and uh, the light block layer inside painted. I'm about to get uh, to paint the um, uh, the white uh, reflective inner layer, and then uh, in a few days I'll get started on the electronics. Um, unfortunately, it's going to be a few days because at the moment I don't have enough LEDs. Uh, I really thought that I did, because um, uh, I need uh, to do it the way I want to do it. I need, uh, let's see, I think I need four white LEDs for the windows, uh, two little blue ones for the uh, engines in the uh, uh, here, and then two more. I can't decide if I want to use uh, three millimeter or five millimeter for the engine intakes, but. Um, it's not going to use a whole lot. I mean, it's, uh, I think it's going to be like eight, maybe ten. I may revise my plan a little bit here and there, but um, so far, yeah, my plan is only to use eight LEDs. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the LEDs I'm going to need. Um, in the meantime, though, I will get started on the uh, on painting it because. Um, uh, What I plan to do is, uh, at least for the fuselage, is to you know, basically assemble the fuselage here. Is um, what, uh, is to paint the entire outer hull, and then the bottom section is basically is like a wing that just fits onto the bottom here, very simply. So there's a nice big hole in the bottom where I can, uh, I can work to uh, install the LEDs. Um, it'll be quite simple. I can, I can get this entire section finished before I even install a single, uh, a single light. Um, so it won't be overly difficult. And, um, and as for the windows, I plan to use uh, this stuff, Micro Crystal Clear uh, by Microscale Industries. Uh, I've never really used it before. Um, I've done a little bit of uh, playing around with it. I, where did that little thing go? Um, um, I can't remember where, I can't find it. But um, I was playing around with it a little bit before and I was quite happy with the results that I was getting. Um, so, uh, so yeah, it should work out really well. Because um, uh, you can apply it with a uh, either a paintbrush or a toothpick or a needle or something just to each of the little windows and then just wipe off the excess and it'll dry clear inside of about three hours 
Um, and then once you turn the lights on, it basically, it's you've got a window. Um, so it should work out really well, and uh, I'm really anxious to, uh, to get that going. Um, so yeah, I just got to make sure that none of my uh, none of my windows get filled with uh, with primer or anything. So I've I've had to punch out a couple of them because the primer is kind of built up and blocked the windows a little bit. But uh, anyway, so yeah, my next step is going to be to uh, paint the uh, the white reflective layer, um, and uh, then get started on painting the uh, the outside of the ship. So 